Hi, this is Quentin Hamill and I'm doing um, a vlog here on hiking the Oregon Coast Trail, about a 400 plus mile journey. Um, this is my first time doing a through hike and I wanted to go over a little bit of the gear that I'm bringing and I'll probably talk about whether it works or not um, on the trail. So as you can see right here, um, this is basically almost it. I don't have my tent on here, I have a few other things, but I want to go over um, some of the, the, the main items. Right here, I've got my backpack. It's some um, Gregory I got from REI on sale. Um, it's a 40 liter. It's not a huge backpack, but I wanted to go lighter, and this kind of forces you to go a little bit lighter. Um, it's, it's what they call it. Uh, it's a top loader. You can go in from the top or the middle, J, kind of J zipper, so you can get stuff that way, or you can actually even go in from the bottom if you want um, through this thing bag port. Um, uh, it has some pretty good suspension system here, it's soft, um, this is really good about keeping you um, cool in the back. The, I like the belt okay, the pockets weren't what I wanted, so I've gotten this little extender to kind of slip on here. I got this from um, One Tigress and it slips on, I can keep my iPhone and whatever in there and just have a little bit more room. Um, the other thing I like about this is it has a sleeping bag um, pocket here at the bottom where you can put whatever you want in it, but I'm going to put my sleeping bag in, in there. So overall, um, it's a pretty, I, I like it, it's a good backpack. Okay, um, the next thing I'm doing, I'll talk about tech. Um, I'm going to basically bring my iPhone, that's going to be my communication device, my video, photo. need a way to power it. So I found this um, solar panel and I'm actually going to strap this right here on the top and that's going to charge this um, 6 amp, 6,000 6, milliamp, or is it maybe it's a thousand actually, but the capacity is 4,000. Anyway, not huge, but um, I'm going to bring this in actually a backup, so I'm going to have lots of juice because I want to make more I can do all that. Um, the other thing is, I didn't have a way to get a selfie, and I found this walking stick, and I only need one, some people hike with two, but what I really like about this is it has a top here, you can screw a um, little holder for your camera in, stick it in the ground, now you can get selfies. So you'll see me, that's basically how I'm going to get most of my selfies um, as well. So that's a good, I got that REI too. It's a Trekker, Trekker FX. Um, the, for, for water, I, I went, I'll show you all the stuff that I didn't go with. I'm going with these. These are only 11 bucks at Sportsman Warehouse. Um, they fit nice in the pocket. They carry a lot. Uh, they're metal, so they should last. And if I can get it off. And, um, uh, it's 11 bucks, so some of these things are really expensive. Um, here's my cup. You basically eat all your food in it. You use a standard spork for, for doing all that. Um, I, for cooking, um, they've really come a long ways. I ended up, I used one of these little small guys uh, a friend had, Tad Woosley, I think. And it's really cool. It's just super small, comes in a small little device. It screws right onto your um, little gas propane um, tank and it'll heat everything up. So I'm really happy with that. Um, it has its own lighter. Um, where you can use a match, whatever you want. So that's great, really lightweight. Um, the other thing I got was this Ultimate Survival. This is like mega, you're gonna get a flame in a hurricane. It's just, it takes butane so you can fill it up, but it just works. I, I read all the um, reviews on that, so I'm, I'm using that. Uh, the other cool thing I got um, was this. Uh, because I'm going to be hiking on the trail, sometimes you're at night or dusk, and you have to be on the road because it's just going through tunnels and stuff, sometimes you're stuck. This is really cool because it has a, um, it's basically a bicycle light, and I can have that in the back and it has different sorts of bright brightness as, as you want. Um, it can even be, I guess, coma inducing or seizure inducing. So this is pretty cool, I put that in the back of my backpack. Um, what else do I have? A oh, rain jacket because it rains in Oregon. I wanted to get the light when I got one of these Harry Hansen super lights, like six ounces, and it 
Um, hopefully I don't have to try it out too much, but you want to have some kind of rain jacket. The other kind of jacket I'm doing is, uh, they call them puffer jackets. They're basically down, super light, but they keep you warm. You can sleep in them, hike in the morning. Um, sleeping bag. Um, I this is what I this this is the original sleeping bag I had on all my trips. Huge. I got this when I was like 16, 17. You know, a long time ago before I was getting married, and it's huge. And I just finally decided, you know what, I'm I'm going to go with. Okay. So these are a lot smaller, they're warmer, and they just shrink down. These are 600 filled down, so I, I decided to go with that to, to reduce weight. Um, the other thing is, that's my dog, she's going to come with me, is purification. Now we're going to have lots of water, obviously, near the ocean, not sea water, but or the river. And these are pretty cool. This is like the Sawyer straw. I don't know if I'm going to zoom in more, but... Um, it's a mini straw here, and basically you just put your water in this valve here, you screw it on to one end, and you got you got where it says flow, you push the water through and clean water comes out the other end. So you scoop up the bag, screw it on here, and you can squeeze it into your canteen or whatever, you keep doing that. It's supposed to do like a thousand, a hundred thousand gallons. You can this um, syringe is made to back flush and to clean it out basically and so um, that's that uh, you got your here's another thing my friend Glenn Peterson taught me showed me he's a doctor and has been on the trail quite a bit for the Pacific Crest Trail Kinzio text um, tape this is like sports kind of tape you, if you think you're getting a hot spot, you put a little bit of this on, it doesn't come off, you leave it on forever. And you just cut a little piece and put it where the hot spot is. And so you want to carry a lot of this. This is Kinziotex, Kinzio taping. A lot of the athletes and stuff use that. Um, I got soap, uh, final cloth. This is something that um, I asked one of the RUI guys about. Um, he said bring me one of these nice micro fleece towels. He says it doesn't weigh a lot and it dries out and it's, it's, it's good. So for food, I'm going to be a mountain house attic. I, I got a whole bunch of this stuff. Tax light, tastes good. Um, I, I like chicken teriyaki. This is really good. This raspberry crumble. Um, beef is good enough. I'm going to enjoy that. Um, let's see. What else do I want to talk about? I think that's it. So some of the some of the fails that we had. Um, this was a fa this was a disappointment. This is supposed to be one of those high tech sleeping pads. Has a hole in to reduce weight. Taper. What is it? It's called the inertia ozone. I'm on my second one. The first one I had had holes in it. Um, I finally got this one. Slept on the other night. It crinkles all night. The pillow is kind of cool because it kind of keeps your head in the middle. But it was just miserable. I had a terrible night's sleep. So I'm going with Therma Rest. My other friends wanted me to get a more expensive one, Tim Rest, and those guys did. So I'm going to try this one, I think. It can't pop. It's square. It'll fit. So I'm going to go with this. Um, the other fail, well, it's not a fail, but it's an expensive fail. I ended up getting one of these Hydro Flasks, which are all the rage. Expensive, like 30 bucks. 11 bucks holds more I, I don't see any difference um, but this costs a lot more and it kept slipping out so they're cool buy Oregon stuff but it was a fail in my, in my case um, those were the, the main fails um, I think that's that's about it so hope to see you guys. Um, watch my blog. I'll be updating it. I'll be starting here in July 5th. That'll be my first day, and I'll probably have some other blogs before I go. Thanks.